Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today we are officially starting my Beauty and the Beast tutorial series. So I remember I made a tutorial on her a long, long, long time ago. It was a really long time ago. We're actually gonna do her peasant belt, the peasant belt look, so that's when she's in her, her blue dress and blue ribbon. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and start placing her head. Make a bridge up here, bring it down, bring it over, and then bring it up. Now what we're going to do is more of a three quarters look of Belle, and you probably recognize this from the movie because this is the part where she's singing. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this side. So this is the middle of her face, so that's where her the like her nose would fall and everything. And then we're gonna bring down her eye line. All right. So first, what I'd li like to do is go ahead and place where her eyes are gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead, place one eye here, and then I'm gonna jump over because we're seeing more of this side of her face as opposed to this side. So I'm going to draw her eye right here as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump down here and I'm going to make this circle so I know where her nose is going to go. And then what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and start making her lips. And the easiest way to do lips instead of I'm going to teach you the easiest way because I was ready just to start teaching. but what you want to do is go ahead and make that her smile curve it upwards and then what you're going what you're going to do is make one lip line here and then one other side of her lip line bring it up to, into that smile round that off at the bottom just a little bit more Go ahead and jump down below. And everything right now is just roughly placed. We're gonna go ahead and tweak it in a little bit. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump over here and give her the shape to her eye. So I'm gonna jump at the corner of this eye. And then I'm gonna jump down below and I want to keep overall roundness of her eye, but we just want to shape it up a little bit more. Do the same over here. Bring this down and up. And then, so you guys aren't confused, what I'm going to do on this side of the left eye is I'm going to bring down her nose ridge and connect it to her nose. And that should be one fluid line. And then what you can do is give her her nostril and just go ahead and give a little bit more tweakiness to her nose. So what you're going to do is I'm going to jump on this side and give her one pupil iris area here and then one pupil iris area over here as well. I'm going to go ahead and fill in her top eyelash line is very, very thick. So I'm going to go ahead and darken this. And then what you can do is go ahead to the side and give her eyelashes in the corner, top right of this side and over here. Go ahead and give her thick eyelashes in this corner as well. That is the only areas that are pretty thick with eyelashes. Let me round this up just a little bit more. Before we keep going on, I want to shape up her head just a little bit more. So starting from her forehead, I'm going to bring this down. And I'm gonna go to the side of her cheek so we curve inwards towards her, her eye. 
and then we curve this. Bring this down, give her a chin. And then curve this upward. Give a little bit of a cheekbone. And this will lead up into her ear, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark where her ear is gonna go because eventually her hair will be covering up her ear. Next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a shine right here and a shine right here. And then we're going to go ahead and give her her pupil. Her pupil here. And you can go ahead and lightly shade in her iris because she has brown eyes. Then of course what you would like to do is you want to go ahead and give her a little bit of an eyelid up here, an eyelid over here. And then for her eyebrows, I'm going to start with the right one right here and it's going to go up. And then down. So it looks more like a concerned look. So they have a bit of a shape to them that they're concerned in a way. And I'm going to jump over here, do the same thing. Go up and bring this one over a little bit more. Let's jump back down to her lips and just shape these up a little bit more. So you want to make sure that they're flowing and Belle has really thick lips. Head. I'm going to shade her upper lip and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade her bottom lip but leave a little bit of shiny space right there so you can even darken it at this side and this side right here where this line is this line is typically just this was benefiting us for where her part is going to go we're just going to go ahead and make the part to her hair right now this part is going to go this way, and this part is going to go this way. So starting with this side, so this side is more in front of this side, so we're going to bring out this one, bring this down, and then we're going to come behind this one. So this one's overlapping, and this one's behind. Bring this up, and then bring it down. And then after you bring down this side, you're going to jump over here, curve outwards and then back in and then I'm going to jump over here bring this outward down go out this way then go up and underneath this section of hair that we just made you're going to bring down this side and we're going to go all the way in to right here. Now of course since this is a ponytail we're gonna go ahead and draw the section where her hair is pulled back so we see this section of hair back here. So we have one strand of hair that's gonna jump down here, curves outward and back into this part of her hair. I jump back and let's define it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this strand should lead into this strand. And there's a piece of hair right here. But the only stray hair we should see is this hair, piece of hair right here. I'm gonna bring down this side of her hair and it's gonna cover up the top of her ear. And it's gonna go down back behind her. It'll eventually be her neck. And we're gonna go ahead and cover this up. And then I'm gonna jump down here Divide this up a little bit more. I'm 
And then I'm going to go back to this side where I'm going to define it just a little bit more. This strand will go this way. This will go this way. And this strand will go over here. So this one's a little bit longer. This one's going this way and this one's going this way. I'm going to make this flow a little bit more. And this one's just going to go right back there. Before we go ahead and draw her bow and the back side of her ponytail, let's go ahead and give her a neck. So right here, underneath her chin, make one side of her neck here. I'm gonna bring down this side of her neck. Jump back here. We're just gonna make a box. from underneath this part of her hair and from behind her neck. After you make this kind of a box looking thing, you're just gonna jump right up here. And we just created the inside of her bow. And then from back here, you're gonna start seeing the rest of her hair. So if you wanna give a couple of strands. From this side of her neck, we're gonna start from back here we're going to round this down. To right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw through her neck and round this side down mirroring that same thing and I'm just going to go ahead and round this down and meet up with this side. I can go ahead and get rid of this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back here behind this part of her neck. I'm going to make sure we want to keep this. Bring this back down and into here and then we're going to jump from here and go all the way back up and meet up with this side. And since that's the collar of her shirt, go ahead and give a little bit of division right there. Then what you're going to do from right here, you're going to go ahead, I'm going to jump right back up to this part of her neck. I'm going to bring down her shoulders here and then I'm going to jump back to her neck on this side and bring her shoulders down from here as well and kind of round off the side of her shoulder and round off this side of her shoulder. That's when I can go ahead and start placing where her blue dress would go. So I'm going to bring down this side of her dress, bring it down, make the square cut at the top, and then I'm going to jump up to here on her shoulder, bring down this side, jump back up here and make the other side of her strap and curve these this way, jump over back to here. And curve this one this way as well. And then I'm going to start bringing down her chest just a little bit. And then her arm is overlapped on this one so we see more of her shirt. Bring down her arm. Bring this over. You're going to make this middle mark right there. And this arm's gonna go a little bit more towards her back because she's singing and she's swinging her basket around. She does have brown hair. So what I'd like to do is I wanna shade in where her hair is tucked underneath other parts of her hair. So I can go ahead and tuck this in. And this is just that single strand. So I wanna make sure that we see it standing out over her skin. color in the rest of her hair. The places where her hair is pulled back where you can clearly see that it's overlapping, like right back here where her ear is, darken that a little bit more and we have that over here as well. And 
since her hair is back here, you want to go ahead and shade that in pretty dark underneath her bow. And I would shade this side of her face. And I would go ahead underneath her neck, her chin and on her neck, I would shade over here. And shade down alongside of her bodice on her dress. Shading always adds that awesome touch to it just to make it a look a little nicer. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of these guidelines. And keep in mind with her eyes, she doesn't really have that thick of an eyelash line at the bottom, but she has a really thick top eyelash line. And when you make her eyelids, just kind of shade in around her eyelids because she does have a good contrast in skin tones because it looks like she's wearing a little bit of brown eyeshadow. Of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a little bit of an ear line back here. Go ahead and bring this down just a bit and shade in back here since her hair is overlapping. If I were you guys, I would go ahead and carry this shadow all the way back here and down over here, all the way across her, the top of her dress and the top of her sleeve. Shade in her blue bow. And what you want to do is you want to jump inside the bow and shade the inside. And then you just want to go ahead and shade around her dress. And I'm going to shade underneath, behind her collar back here as well. Another thing that you want to do is you just want to go ahead and lightly shade in her cheeks. So we can kind of, we shade it over here just a little bit, but I'm going to bring it out just a little bit more. And shade in her cheeks because she does have really rosy cheeks. So I'll just blend this in, jump over here and blend this in. So you're going to do it right where that cheek line is. Just go ahead and bring it down alongside of her face. shade underneath her nose just a little bit. There is How to Draw Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Now this is from the traditional 90s cartoon of the film. So of course there is the new Beauty and the Beast that's coming out on March 17th and I think next week we're gonna go ahead and draw Beast. So be prepared because it's gonna be a crazy tutorial. He is about seven different animals in one so we're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> I think it's nine or seven. I think it was seven. I'm not exactly sure. But yes guys, I can't wait for the new movie. I will see you all later and I hope you enjoy these Beauty Beast, Beauty and the Beast tutorials up until the new movie. I'll see you all later. Bye!